let me let me let me continue down the autism thing. Okay, you you said to me that you don't see autism as like a disorder. You think that people are sort of using that is like an excuse. And okay, I think there's probably a lot of that when people are talking about this. This shooting or any shooting, of course, when, when the Democrats are trying to take our guns away and ban speech, Republicans here, they, they start talking about mental health. And it scares the crap out of me because I think the mental health industry is uh, almost as Jewified as everything else. And, and I think that that's a bad idea to start labeling everybody mentally ill and start shoving pills down their throats. So I get what you're saying about that. But at the same time, I have certainly come into contact with people who are debilitated to one extent by another or another by autism. And I, I do believe that there's some evidence to suggest that this is passed genetically. I, 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 don't, I shouldn't get into the detail. Well, without saying any details, I'll say I met somebody who I thought might be autistic. And what confirmed it for me was that her mother was, and then I met her brother, and her brother definitely was. And it seemed to me that there was... A, um, uh, a disparity between the severity between all three of them, which leads me to believe that there's a genetic component to this. And I have seen people who, you know, these people are not debilitated by it, maybe a little socially awkward. But, you know, you have you have situations where people are autistic. All they could do is bang their fucking heads against the wall. I mean, is this not something to, you know, at least pay attention to? Well, that, that's the this boils down to the philosophical definition of a disorder. And the problem right. with mental disorders is that a lot of them, they do not meet my criteria. My criteria is the person must think it's a disorder. The person must be asking for help. Now, if you're asking for help and you really don't like that and we can fix it with a pill, I'm all for this being a disorder. The problem comes when the person deciding that it's a disorder is your parent, your teacher, your brother or a judge, even worse. Mm -hmm. That moment is the moment where psychiatry becomes a channel for the invasion of private liberty. Because ultimately, all disorders can be framed as just a difference. I mean, even if you if you were missing an arm, uh, okay, well, you, you are a three-limbed being. Maybe tr having three limbs is fine for some people. Uh, so, so I'm very uh, autistic on this, but it's very important. Because if we allow social st social awareness to become a, a psychiatric diagnosis that has legal value in court to remove your freedoms, then anyone can be judged as autistic. I mean, to some extent, autism is not so much a disorder of the person. It's a disorder of the social world that expects people to be looking at each other in the eyes. They expect you to be displaying your empathy like a cock. But the reality is that the, the autistic personality is a functional personality. And yes, in some cases, they end up being diagnosed with autism in a way that, that really bothers their life. And in that case, I'm fine with it being a disorder. But if we're talking about just the social preferences of being alone, of being isolated, of not looking at each other in the eyes, and of having specific obsessions such as stamp collecting, then as far as I'm concerned, no, it's not a disorder. Well, I, I get that. But at the same time, like, I mean, um, look, I mean, you, you've, you've covered racial issues. So, I mean, you, you, you have to have some genetic awareness, right? And so, I, and I don't know that enough about, I've been actually trying, I, mean, I, I don't know how much you've really studied the subject. I've been trying to find like an autism expert to come on the show, but you might have gathered that I have a little bit more trouble finding I guests. I mean, I am an autism expert because I've been uh, doing postdoctoral research and clinical research with people with autism, schizophrenia, and depression. I'm a specialist of genes related to these disorders. Yeah, and I think, didn't you, 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 have, uh, you described yourself as a neuroscientist at one point, right? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a neuroscientist who has then moved to clinical research on genes, and I've worked at Duke University, I've worked in the private sector, I've worked also for the American uh, military. So I mean, but but look, if, is not so is. Uh, but look, if we can, uh, have they identified autism as a as a genetic trait that can be passed from one generation to another? Well, autism has a complex set of causes. We believe that a part of it may be uh, genetic. A part of the the chances you have are due to your genes. Yes, another part may be due to the environment. All right, and so if if there's a genetic component to it. Um, 
Well, uh, let me ask you if, if you know this. I mean, if somebody has autism and they're, and they're at one level of ability in autism, is there some likelihood that they could pass on a more severe form of autism to their children? Absolutely. But the problem is it's not because it's genetic that it's a disorder. Well, but, but I mean, it's a disorder. Well, let me put it this way, right? I'm considering it a disorder because I don't, we, I don't know, you probably don't listen to the show. I, for the sake of the audience, I'll say, I don't want my kids to be Dave in New York, okay? So we got a guy who calls in his show who just can't take a social cue. He just can't take a fucking hint. And it's obvious that he's got a, he's got a serious problem, right? And, and this is, uh, he has, he's, he's described himself as being diagnosed as autistic. And this fits with some other people that I've met who are like pretty severely autistic. And it is a dis disabling thing, right? So do you, do you well, know, <laughs> do you know, can you I, tell me if like, if, if I have, let's say that somebody's like a highly functioning autistic person and I'm like, yeah, I'm in love with you. Let's have some children. Am I going to have Dave in New York for a son? Well, uh, you increase the chance that your children will have some form of, of autism along the spectrum. Right. Um, but then I, I, I question your premises. Uh, maybe the fact that he can take a social cue is a good thing in certain worlds. I mean, when you think about it, social cue is a form of manipulation. It's a form of thing that happens in your brain due to the brains of other people. And in certain world, you want someone to be isolated from such cues. In a world of abuse, of violence, and of control, you want to be as autistic as possible. Well, I mean, I get... You know, I, 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 I get where you're going with this because I had a, a similar conversation with somebody recently. But, like, I, I think that there's a lot of people in what might be described as the alt-right or white nationalism that are, like, self-diagnosing as autistic because they're like, yeah, I'm ignoring the social cue of my society to be a fucking liar, right? Everybody wants me to be a liar and pretend I don't know what this race. Everybody wants me to be a liar and pretend that I don't notice, you know, that you're not really a woman, tranny. You know, like, like people want you to do these things. And so we're saying, you know, fuck, your, suck, fuck that social convention. I'm going to go completely against the grain and do what I do. And in my opinion, I think a lot of these people are not, you know, autistic per se, but they're like they're just intelligent enough to see through the nonsense and be like, I don't care what the social consequences of this are. It, when we're talking about autism, it's not it's not simply, you know, a choice that they made. Right. It's like that they're, they're incapable of picking up on the cue. You know what I'm saying? I understand, but uh, there's a continuum of human behaviors and human abilities to catch cues not catch them fully or to not care about the cues. And it really doesn't matter where you put the line of the definition of autism. The reality is the overrepresentation of people who self-identify as autistic in the alt-right is probably due to that. It's because to be in the alt-right in the first place, you had to, to forget about one big social cue, this uh, racist meme, <laughs> you know, the, this right. idea that you, you shouldn't be racist. Well, exactly. So, I mean, but but at the same time, I mean, you're you're able to tell me that okay, autism is is a genetic component to it. Some portion of it is environmental. So we are talking about something that you know comes over somebody, right? It's not it's not it's not a choice that they're making, right? Now, I'm genuinely under the impression, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm maybe I maybe I'm completely fucking autistic and just completely unaware of myself. But, like, I see these things. I pick up on the social cue. I know people don't want me to do this. And I'm like, no, this is more important, right? And I think that that's – do you see where I'm going? That, like, I'm pretty confident that there's a pretty – there's a pretty clearly defined line between these two phenomena, right? Well, I'm not sure what you mean there because you haven't met my threshold. My threshold is does the person want it fixed? But, no, but – I, I don't know how uh, it seems to. I'm, I'm I'm having a little trouble trying to get this across here because I I I, I it I find it difficult to believe that you don't see where I'm going with this, right? If if autism is a thing that can be diagnosed, if there's a genetic and an environmental component, I mean, we're defining it whether you want to say it's an affliction or not. You know, it's it's a condition that one has that it's not it's not a choice that they make, right? Yeah, but the same thing can be said about hair color. Yeah, exactly. But like, exactly though, right? So like, if I want to have, um, you know, a kid with blonde hair, I better not. I, I I better not marry me a black gal, right? 
if I if I want to have kids, but you wouldn't call you wouldn't call the color of hair a disorder. You would you would say you have preferences, but you certainly wouldn't say that it's a disorder to have brown hair. Well, I might say it's a disorder to have black skin. You know, <laughs> might I might say it's a disorder well, to have a, you a, a fucking hook nose. You know, it doesn't mean it's. You know, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> But right. that's my point. The The concept of a disorder is socially constructed and it is arbitrary and it ultimately expresses your preferences. You are a racist and so you express these racist preferences in calling certain things negative, other things positive. But my point is, with autism, it's the same thing. You may have preferences against autism, but some other people may not. Okay, so like... Um... Should we stop using, you know, in the in the alt right, um, they'll throw this term autist around. Should we stop doing that? Is is somebody who is discriminating against autistic people? Should we start calling them autists? Well, uh, I'm not against the the meme. I like it. In fact, I think that it's one one of the the popularization of autism, which has occurred for the last ten years, and it started with mainstream stuff like the Big Bang Theory. A TV show and people took it on the internet in various ways. I'm not against it. I think it will it will fail at some point. Like all memes, it will disappear. But it's a pretty deep meme that has survived much longer than lots of other memes. I'm for it. I I love it. I love the idea that autism is becoming a characteristic that you can actually brag about. But do, do you think? Do you really think that that's a positive phenomenon? I mean, if there's a if there's a if there's an increased likelihood of people actually having you know debilitating circumstances from this, I mean, is that something you don't concern yourself with? Well, no, because the advantages may be greater than the disadvantages. What do I care if my child doesn't have thirty friends? And in exchange of it, he's fascinated by Euclidean geometry. And he can uh, design a 17 side uh, regular uh, polygon that that is better than any child of his age. Well, I, I mean, like it. You're, you're a guy who describes himself as being autistic and you get laid all the time. I know that there's plenty of autistic guys out there who can't get a girl to fuck them to save their lives. That's what I that's what I worry about. Right. Absolutely. That's why we need the campaign. Autism is the new sexy. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. You win. Uh, let's take a, let's take another call here. Uh, call you.